Hey everyone, Udabultry here, welcome back to the channel, bringing you another video of Hogwarts Legacy, playing this on my PC and on my new LG 45 inch ultra wide OLED. Now looking here at the settings real quick, so I am playing this at max settings, uh, including ray tracing, uh, while also using DLDSR, so using the 1.78 times factor here for DLDSR, and DLSS set to performance. Now before getting started, just wanted to point out, uh, down in the description of this video, you can find a few different pieces of information, which include a link tree where you can donate to and support the channel directly, 5% discount code off coffee and tea orders, and finally a full detailed list of my monitor settings and NVIDIA control panel settings. Now, the game itself continues to be a blast, although, again, a lot of performance in certain areas of the map does tend to be still pretty inconsistent. Uh, again, I can have some pretty wild swings in uh, FPS going from, you know, low 40s all the way up to as high as 80 so i'm um, still looking forward to perhaps some some patches or some fixes that can come forward for the pc version here that will help stabilize frame rate a bit but again with that said though the world and everything here on the map i mean just continues to look absolutely unbelievable um, especially on this monitor um, again I, I think this monitor i mentioned this in previous videos really shines when you're able to do um, upsampling or re really when you're really able to take advantage and add the headroom to use things like dsr or in my case dldsr um, again in in this specific case if you're not familiar uh, this is a nvidia specific but basically uh, rendering the game at a higher resolution than native uh, and then bringing it back down so again really helps with image clarity and uh, in many ways has become my default way of playing on this monitor to kind of help offset some of the ppi concerns that that many other uh, viewers that i've kind of brought up at least when asking about this monitor and this size now again along with using dldsr right I, i'm still loving the monitor in terms of its size as a whole um, again especially when compared to my older videos when playing on my g9 which is what i had previously I do miss the 32 by 9 window, uh, you know, from a, from a horizontal spacing, but having the extra vertical space of this monitor really does help with immersion, and, and I've really grown to just really love playing on it. Um, and again, games like this or, or other games, like especially the new release of Returnal, just look fantastic thanks to the OLED display uh, with the colors and everything on just really being showcased there. Now with that, I'm going to go ahead and stop the commentary here. I just want to note, I, I am not engaging in story-specific content here in this clip, but I am engaging with some side quests, so just want to note that uh, in case you don't want anything spoiled. But with all that, I'm going to go ahead and stop the commentary here. Like I said, let you enjoy the rest of the video. Um, let me know down in the comments if you have any questions at all, whether it's about the game or the monitor or any of my settings or really just anything. Um, and yeah, I'd be happy to help. But with that, please don't forget that like button. Uh, also, don't forget that follow uh, if you, again, if you enjoy this video and this channel. And I'll talk to you later. Plans. Then I shall refrain from telling you to be careful yet again. But I hope you will be. I, of course. Your owl mentioned you're needing my help with something. I do. I thought you might be just the person to do a favor for my friend Dorothy Sprottle in Upper Hogsfield. Hmm. I don't believe I've met Mrs. Sprottle. She's lovely. Her late husband Aidan was a friend of my father's. In fact, I'd stay with Dot and Aiden the summers I waited tables here as a student. I've seen her a few times since Aiden passed, but the pub's been so busy lately, I've not been as attentive as I'd have liked. I wonder if you might pop in and see her. She may need some help collecting ingredients for her supply of Wigan World potion, and you could retrieve something of mine in the process. A box, um, full of old letters and such. <laughs> I'll try to go and see her when I can. It would mean the world to me, and to Dorothy. Aidan was bringing the box of letters to me when he was taken ill. Doc can tell you where he might have dropped it. You'll find the hamlet just north of Hogsmeade. Please do give Doc my love. I'll fix him, that charm grinder. Sir, is everything all right? How kind of you to ask. The name's Ackley Barnes. And no, it is not. I'm plotting a sort of revenge against my ex-business partner, a conniving fiend by the name of Alfred Lawley. 
He cut me out of our herbology supply business, just as we were getting started. <laughs> Said I was too volatile to work with. I'll show him volatile. I can see why he said that. You do seem angry. Of course I'm angry now. In large part due to his absurd overreaction to what is simply passion for my work. Supercilious fool. He's passionate about things too. As I intend to remind him by relieving him of his prized possession. A venomous tentacular he's grown from a seedling that was to be the keystone of our business venture. I can't get anywhere near it with Ruth Singer watching me like an augury. Lawley's doing, no doubt. But no one would suspect a student. Hmm. How would you feel about committing some grand plant larceny? I'll get the venomous tentacular for you. Marvellous. I know a fellow seeker of justice when I see one. Take as many herbology supplies as you like while you're in his cellar. All I ask is that you bring me the venomous tentacular. Remember, I just need that venomous tentacular. Seems I need to find Mr. Lawley's cellar. <laughs> this must be it. How to find that venomous tentacular? Better not let Mr. Lawley see me. Revelio. stirring in the cellar. Must have been Biden's. Revelio. Where is that venomous tentacular? Now that I have the venomous tentacular, I should return to Mr. Barnes.
completed that error? Accio! Hello, Mr. Barnes. I have that venomous tentacular. Huh. Wish I could see Lawley's face when he realizes his prized possession is gone. We'll see who's volatile now. Well done. I'll take it off your hands now. It wasn't as easy to come by as I had expected. I'd like to be paid for my troubles. <sighs> Only fair, I suppose. I can respect your business acumen. Here's a little something for your next trip to Zonko's. Thank you again for your help. I suspect you have a bright future. Deke. Ah, Deke is so happy to see you. Uh, Deke noticed this bag in the room the other day. You must need it to help with your schoolwork. Deke has seen one of these before. Deke calls it a knapsack. Perfect for gathering and transporting beasts. Pleasant little breeze. I have been thinking about something Professor Howen said in Beasts class. That I should study as many beasts as I can on my own time. She also mentioned that poachers have been active in the area. So, perhaps the beasts will be safer with us than out on their own. Precisely what Deke was thinking. You see, the room knew exactly what you needed. And luckily, Deke can show you how to best use the knapsack and where. Come along, then. Our first stop will be beyond the castle grounds. We can leave now, or you can come and find Deke when you're ready to go.